The class of 2019 and faculty of CLHS, please be seated. Good evening and welcome to the commencement exercises of Chisago Lakes High School. It is my honor to welcome everyone to this evening's graduation. Please remember that this event is a formal graduation ceremony. Part of the formality is signified by the gowns and hoods worn by our faculty members. I want to recognize all of the faculty who are able to participate this evening. Please join me in a round of applause. Thank you all for being here to share in this evening's recognition. Once again, my heartfelt welcome to all. At this time, I would like students in the class of 2019 that have newly enlisted or soon to enlist in the military to please stand. At this time, I would also ask the veterans here with us celebrating tonight to please also stand and be recognized with our new class of 2019. Please stand. We are indeed grateful for your service to our country. Your sacrifice is the reason we are able to pursue our dreams and live in freedom. Thank you. At this time, I'm requesting all to rise, remove hats for our presentations of our nation's colors, followed by our national anthem. The colors tonight are presented by the VFW Post 7267 and the American Legion Post 272 with the national anthem performed by our select choir.
Thank you. Please be seated. The 2018-19 Wind Ensemble is made up of the finest instrumentalists in Chisago Lakes High School. During this school year, some of these students were selected to perform in honor bands on campuses at St. Olaf, Bermidji State, Gustavus Adolphus, UMD, Mankato State, UW-Eau Claire, and Monona State Universities. And also, 10 students were selected as Mississippi 8 All-Conference Band members and one student was selected to the All State Jazz Band. Many members of the band senior class are going to continue their music education by performing in concert, jazz, pep, and marching bands next year at their colleges. Tonight's senior song selection is Summer Nights by Robert W. Smith. The senior class performed this piece one year, one year ago as juniors and felt the energy of this music represented their excitement and anticipation of a few more weeks of carefree summer nights before they move on to the next phase of their lives. At this time, I wish to present the 2018-19 Wind Ensemble presenting Summer Nights under the direction of Mr. Joe DeLisi. Thank you, band members. Please be seated. The first of our class speakers tonight is Victoria Dietz. Victoria is the daughter of Mark and Rochelle Dietz of Schaefer. While at CLHS, she has been involved in our girls' tennis program. She has, she has also been active in our National Honor Society, FFA, One Act Play, and on our student athletic training program. 
Victoria is planning on attending Wartburg College in Iowa in the fall to pursue a degree in English and social work or biology. Please welcome Victoria Dietz. I would like to welcome all the friends, family, and faculty that have joined us today for this momentous event. As I stand up here, I can't help but think of everything we accomplished as a class. Everything we have done from elementary school to high school has led up to this moment, graduation. It's a moment of both joy and sadness, as well as reflection and looking towards the future. While we are all focusing on what lies ahead, I think it's important that we look back on the memories we made in the past 13 years. I want everyone to think back to the first day of school. I'm talking the very first day, when you got off the bus for the first time and were terrified of what was ahead, kindergarten. At the time, we were all the new kid. Everything was brand new, and those were some of the first friends we made. I wish I could go back and tell my five-year-old self to just enjoy each moment, because by the time you realize that a moment is worth remembering, it's already gone. Those next few years were filled with learning, field trips, and drama over who was invited to whose birthday party. In first grade, we started learning addition and subtraction. In second grade, we really started to get the hang of reading. In third, we learned cursive, and I think that threw all of us for a loop. <laughs> In fourth, we got to go skiing for the first time, and over half of us were stuck on the bunny hill all day. And then in fifth grade, they put letters in math. The day we mixed English and algebra was the most mind-blowing day of the year. We're just going to uh, fast forward through the middle school years because I don't think any one of us wants to remember that incredibly awkward time in our lives. But the few words that I do have to say about that time are kendamas, fun runs, and embarrassing fashion choices, which included neon bright shirts and athletic necklaces. Before we knew it, we'd finally reached high school. We couldn't wait for the homecoming games, school dances, and spending time with our friends. We learned what our interests were and explored everything we could. Each one of us opened ourselves up to new experiences and opportunities. And as we move forward, I encourage you all to continue that trend. That brings us to today, the day we have worked towards for the past 13 years. All that hard work and persistence paid off. No more waiting, no more counting day of days. We couldn't wait for the future to get here. But now, the future's knocking on the door. Today is the day where your life does a 180 and you take your first steps again. It's just like the first day of kindergarten, a new beginning. You start the thrilling task of working towards achieving everything you hoped and dreamed of. Before I go, I wanted to leave you off the quote because what's a senior speech without a quote, right? Susan Gale once said, never forget where you've been, never lose sight of where you're going, and never take for granted the people who traveled the journey with you. We all should reflect back on the time we spend together and reminisce in the memories we share. It makes us who we are. By looking back at our experiences, we learn and grow. However, we should always dream and challenge ourselves. Remember those special moments, because the future it's finally here. Thank you, Victoria. The second of our senior speakers tonight is Amelia Smith. <laughs> Amelia is the daughter of Andy and Nicole Smith of Schaefer. She has been involved during her years at CLHS by her participation on our varsity dance team along with our speech team. Amelia plans on attending Minnesota State University in Mankato to pursue a degree in criminal psychology. Please welcome Amelia Smith. Welcome students, families, teachers, faculty, and community members to this graduation ceremony for the Chisago Lakes class of 2019. We couldn't have done this without the support of everyone here, so we thank you for the last 13 years. So, how do we measure our years of high school? As freshmen, we measured it by the class periods, those long, 
long 80 minute class periods. Some may have felt like they lasted about three hours, but others only felt like they lasted about 10 minutes. We measured it by how long it took to finish our vase face projects and art fundamentals and by how fast we could swim across the pool in the Fayed swimming unit. We measured it in the time it took us to go through our awkward phases. Thank goodness that's over. Well, mostly over. As sophomores, we measured it in how long it took to get our driver's license. We took the test once, twice, maybe even three times, but I really hope not four times. I can only imagine the fear Ginger felt as we sped into the parking lot on the first day with our fresh license. We measured it in how long it took us to study. We had to study for real now. And how long it would take to be juniors and finally not be lumped in with those baby freshmen. Even though we were freshmen just the year prior, that's not the point. We were basically adults. As Mr. Janger used to say, the best part of freshmen is that they turn into sophomores. And looking back now, he was probably right. As juniors, we measured it in tests. How long until the next one, which class it would be in, how hard it would be, and what the odds were that we would fail it. We measured it in the late nights working on projects and the other kind of nights we spent at Free Pie and Village Inn on Wednesdays. Well, at least until Village Inn changed the rules and we haven't seen a Free Pie since. <laughs> we measured the time we spent studying for the ACT and the time we spent watching the seconds disappear as we panicked to finish the science portion. And we also measured it in how long the mental recovery was after the ACT. That was a long one. Junior year was tough, but once it was over, it was time to prepare for a different challenge, our last year of high school. Now finally as seniors, this one was tough. How do we measure our time as seniors? We measure it in hours, minutes, seconds. We measure it with every time we flashed our senior privs and walked out the door to go do whatever we wanted with our few hours. We measured our senior year in lasts, our last home football game, our last dress up week, our last prom. The last time we took the floor of the field with our team. The last time we walked out of the room of a teacher that inspired us and the last time we walked out of the classroom as high school students. Graduation day is here now. For some of us, the seconds are going far too slow. For others, way too quickly. Some of us are ready, some of us are not. Either way, the most important time we measured was the time we spent learning and growing together as a class. I hope we can all measure the rest of our lives in memories, in achievements, and in the good times that are to come. Class of 2019, we did it. So as the great Mr. Piper would say, bye! <laughs>
I thought, how awesome would one last go around on the databases be? We had all that fun. Uh, I thought, what a fantastic way to send this group off. But uh, when I ran the idea by my wife, she told me that not everyone is as excited about the databases as I am, except maybe Mary Burning. So I let that idea go. My last idea brought me to the numerous grammar lessons learned in academic writing. And what a better way to end your career than with a, a, a review of semicolons, introductory clauses, subject verb agreement, and so on. And I was completely set on this idea until I remembered uh, how well as a group you scored last year on the ACTs and figured, now nah, you got this already. So, uh, understanding we've done all you can, we can for you on the English front, my mind watered to the extracurriculars. I wondered, what about all the coaching lessons you should remember? I got really excited when I thought about reteaching free safeties, how to fill an alley, or the intricacies of press man coverage. But that would be for too narrow of an audience, and our guys already have that down. Then I thought about our golf team, and the importance of knowing how to make a ball spin, chuck, bite, or snap flags as they prepare to play courses in the future. But those boys have that mastered as well. Lastly, I thought about the girls I coached in basketball, the intricacies of the one, two, two, three quarter court press defense, or how to properly drop kick a basketball, something Hannah Galatch is really good at. <laughs> but you really won't need to know that moving forward. In all, rea in all, in all reality, uh, the reading, the writing, late night studying for exams, athletics and activities you've completed while at Chisago Lakes are now part of your past. So we're not going to focus on any of those tonight. Tonight, you finished one chapter of your lives with the closing of this ceremony, and in doing so, are opening another. You are about to venture on a journey that will take many of you away from Lindstrom, and all of you away from the walls of this high school. At least for a little while, right, Mr. McNally? <laughs> and before you go, there are a couple of lessons I want to share. Some of these lessons have brought great joy and added depth, love, and meaning to my life when some of these have come along with bumps, bruises, pain, hardship, and even a couple of tears. All of these I wish I would have known when I left the walls of my high school 19 years ago, and they are lessons I would like you to have as you leave high school as well. The first lesson I want you to pack for your journey is understanding that life doesn't always go as planned. The important part of this lesson is realizing that it's not supposed to, and that's okay. Often in life, people get flustered and struggle when life goals and plans don't go as exactly as they wish, myself included. It's then that I'm reminded of a famous line I first heard in a song from a country music duet which says, if you want to hear God laugh, tell him your plans. It's funny how certain song lyrics resonate with us at key moments in our lives, and this is a line I remember whenever a curveball comes my way. I think I first began to understand the importance of this lesson when I was a senior in high school, about your age. Uh, I was assigned an essay to uh, apply a theme in a play entitled Death of a Salesman, a play about an old businessman who had been passed over by time and was fighting to hang on to a fledgling career. He reminded me of the time of my father, who is and has been a very dedicated business manager and corporate attorney for a good part of his life. I remember seeing at times how unhappy my father was at times in his career and all the struggles he brought home from work. At one point in time, he actually told me uh, that he originally entered law school because he wanted to help the less fortunate and open up a law firm where he assisted underprivileged cl uh, clients. Being the wise, nearly omniscient 17-year-old boy I was at the time, a lot of you can relate, I decided to take the opportunity to complete my assignment by writing an essay, critiquing him for giving up on his career goals. Watching the frustrations of a stressful world in management impact my dad's personal fulfillment I decided to compare him to Willie Loman, the protagonist of the play. Wanting to share my newfound enlightenment with my dad, I told him about my essay and my comparison, and I ended up asking him why. Why did you give up on your dream? I distinctly remember watching my dad internally debate how he wanted to or whether he should honestly answer the question. And after several moments, he finally responded, well, buddy, it was you. After saying this, my dad explained how he and my mother decided after I was born they wanted to give me every opportunity possible. And realizing that this path was through the corporate world, they decided to forego career dreams so they could raise me with opportunity versus career plans. A decision I am eternally grateful for and a decision my dad has told me he has never second guessed, not even once. And I distinctly remember my life goals when I was about your age setting out on my path. 
uh, was to become an English teacher, find a job in Hawaii, publish a novel, become a highly successful author, travel the world, raise several wonderful children, retire early, and marry a beautiful woman along the way. At least I was able to accomplish this last goal in marrying Mrs. Rogers. They call that relationship equity, guys. Um, not part of my speech, but something to, to maybe learn. And while my life path, as well as my parents, was definitely altered from the original blueprints, I am grateful for the opportunity to be in front of a group of students like you, in a community like this, with the family that I have, and I realize it is all much more than just okay. The second lesson I want you to pack is the importance of valuing the journey versus the end result. So often in life we're concerned with grades, accolades, and recognitions. We forget about the importance of the journey and the lessons learned. Don't get me wrong, receiving an A on a, on a project, earning student of the term, receiving your high school diploma are fantastic accomplishments. But don't forget about the people, the laughs, the struggles, and the challenges faced along the way. It is these pieces of adventure that make us who we are and mold us into the people we will become. Over my 14 years as a teacher and coach, I've coached 40 seasons of various sports. I've realized whether it was coaching ninth grade baseball, B-squad football, girls basketball, or varsity golf, I have never won a state tournament. In fact, over those 40 seasons, I've only made it out of the section playoffs twice, and I've even had numerous seasons where we didn't win a game. Now the lesson here isn't that I'm a bad coach, and, and back off, I did coach in North Branch for several of those years. <laughs> the lesson is, when I look back at all of those seasons, the value didn't come from the section medals, the trophies from tournaments, or the participation awards in friendship games. The value came from the people and the journey. I have memories of a baseball player missing a fly ball in right field, because he was unwrapping a pocket full of fun-sized Snickers. <laughs> and I realized then, some players have different goals in sport than I do, but I need to be sure to coach and love these kids just as much as any other. I have memories of a quarterback carrying his team on his shoulders by throwing a touchdown pass with his non-dominant arm because of a shoulder injury, and learning that people can ac accomplish the impossible even when their own body is telling them they can't. I have memories of working with the girls' basketball team and realizing that a player-coach bond can be strong enough to last a lifetime and even have the power to bring me to tears. I have memories of sharing numerous laughs, learning all sorts of slang terms like greasy, dirt, and bit. Did I say that right? I don't know. And <clears throat> there it is. And getting to know about the lives of my golfers through driving a suburban full of six boys to various courses. And through teaching, coaching, and mentoring, I've realized that helping others achieve their goals in life can actually be more fun and rewarding than achieving my own. So before continuing on your journey tonight, I would like to ask you to take a moment and process. What are the lessons you've learned so far along the way? How can you use these to achieve your goals, help those around you achieve theirs, and leave your legacy on our world? Over the past 12 years, you have definitely left your legacy on Chisago Lakes, and what a legacy it is. As you, the class of 2019, prepare to embark upon your post-high school journey, please remember to take a moment and appreciate your, your path in life. Find value in your plights and struggles. Learn from those around you, and pursue the happiness you so much deserve. Godspeed, class of 2019. We all know what you are capable of achieving. And I look forward to hearing about your accomplishments whenever your names are mentioned in the future. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Rogers, for your message this evening. The seniors of the Select Choir, please assemble. The Chisago Lake Select Choir is composed of 65 10th through 12th grade vocal music students. Entrance into select choirs obtained by a yearly audition process. 
The Select Choir performs four concerts a year and participates in the Mississippi 8 Music Festival and the All Conference Honors Choir. Every other year, the group has the opportunity to go on a tour over spring break. This year, they traveled to Disney World with our wind ensemble, and they were selected to be part of the Disney Performance Workshop. Select choir students perform at state soul ensemble and large group contest each year. This year, the select choir earned a superior rating for their performance at large group contests. The music the select choir seniors have chosen to perform is Rivers and Roads by The Head and the Heart. This song shares a message of love of family and friends and talks about moving on to the next chapter of life. Our senior slideshow was created by senior class members Emma Jarvis and Marina Roth with technical assistance from Mr. Matt Mitchell. The seniors of the select choir under the direction of Miss Laura Molenhauer will be performing Rivers and Roads and the Senior Slideshow.
Thank you, senior choir members. Please be seated. Chisago Lakes High School has made a commitment to provide a balanced, comprehensive education for all learners to obtain college credits while remaining on our campus. CLHS now offers over 120 college credits, ranging from the traditional classes in English, social science, science, and math, but also in the career and technical education areas. In fact, CLHS offers enough college credits where now a student may take all of the Minnesota transfer curriculum, which is 40 credits, or one's generals, and again, never leave our campus, or they may choose to take classes on other campuses underneath the PSEO options program. This can save our students and their families thousands of dollars of college debt. Today, we have six students who even went beyond that 40 credits to earning their two-year Associates of Arts degree while still in high school. This degree is 60 credits. At this time, I wish to introduce Dr. Arnott, Executive Director of the Workforce Development for Lake Superior College to confer the Minnesota Associates of Arts degrees. Dr. Arnott. Will the candidates please rise? I certify that the candidates receiving their degrees this evening have fulfilled all the necessary academic requirements set forth by the Board of Trustees of the Minnesota State Colleges and Universities. With the authority vested in me by the Board of Trustees of the Minnesota State Colleges and Universities, I confer upon you these degrees with all the rights and responsibilities contained therein. Please come forward to receive your academic award when I call your name. Ashlyn Amelia Anderson, Associate of Arts from Lake Superior College. Gracie Barger, Associate of Arts degree with high honors from Lake Superior, from Anoka Ramsey Community College. Faith Elizabeth Bettolini, Associate of Arts with Honors from Lake Superior College. <laughs> Victoria Dietz, Associate of Arts from Anoka Ramsey Community College. <laughs> Olivia Madison Stevermer, Associate of Arts with Honors from Lake Superior College. Taylor Tolsman, Associate of Arts from Century College. Congratulations. Thank you, Dr. Arnott. Seniors in the class of 2019, Graduates, a question that each of you have probably been asked over and over during the school year, and you will probably continue to be asked over the course of the summer is what's next? The short-term answer is easy, school, military, work. The long-term answer is much harder and will take a lifetime of work to accomplish. Our hope is that through your families, friends and we here at CLHS that you've been given the, tr the tools to truly make a difference in the communities that you will live and work. Utilize the gifts that each of you have been given and use them to your fullest. Remember back to your ninth grade orientation or link day and you signed the commitment to graduate banner which is hung up right behind me this is hung in our cafeteria for the last four years, reminding you each and every day of your commitment to graduate. And there was activities as sophomores and juniors, 
But finally, as seniors, we again return to having each of you have the opportunity for a signature, but this time to sign a white graduation gown. That will come out during conferring of the diplomas. I guarantee it. Well, your hard work and determination and commitment to graduate has paid off. Your goals of high school realized. The administration and faculty wish you much happiness and success in your future. Our best wishes to each and every one of you. Members of the Board of Education and all in attendance this evening, I wish to present the Chisago Lakes High School Class of 2019 for the purpose of conferring their high school diplomas. This class has completed the academic studies prescribed by the Minnesota Department of Education and the District 2144 Board of Education. Accepting the class of 2019 is School Board Chairman Mr. Mark Lee. Mark Lee. Thank you, Mr. Earle. Um, it's a great honor for me to represent the school board and a privilege to be a part of this ceremony for all you guys, uh, young men and women. Anyway, thank you all the families for being here and supporting us in so many, many ways. Thank you faculty for joining and all your hard work over the years. Um, normally I say a couple of things. Yesterday I, I had dinner with my daughter and her husband and I mentioned that I was gonna speak, well, not speak, but just accept the class. And she said, well, I graduated 16 years ago today. And I thought, wow, I, I just, I thought about that 16 years and I have three kids and she's the middle anyway. Uh, one thing I thought about, two thoughts here, one for your parents, you know, if your parents think back on these kids and they're 16 years ago, a lot of them were in the terrible twos and uh, you know, that's a, it, I, I think you realize how fast it goes. I mean, as you're older like me, you realize how fast life goes, but just that 16 years and uh, it's like, what happened that time? And then for all you graduating seniors, I think about my daughter, she's 34 now, and in these last 16 years, she's done a lot of things to try to get established in a career, getting married and all of that. And, these next 16 years for you kids are really important years. How the rest of your life works out is based upon what you do as you go forward here. Um, and you have a choice. It's not mom and dad's fault anymore if it doesn't go well. Um, and <laughs> it's yours. And <laughs> Um. <laughs> but you know you there's a lot I mean the rest of it's for you guys it's your time now to make your life good or maybe not so good and you can do that by making wise choices in what you do how you spend your time who, you friend, who your friends are, what you invest yourself in. And it won't be long till you're, when you're, till you're 34 like my daughter and, uh, and you'll, you'll be able to look back a little bit. And I just would encourage you to do things well, be excellent, strive to be good citizens and good role models, uh, just good young people. Seek good things in your life. Anyway, on, to get to the business side of things, on behalf of the school board, I accept the class of 2019 from Mr. Ertl and, and from the faculty and all the work that you did as completing the requirements for graduation. And as I said, it's an honor for us to be a part of this ceremony. It's the best thing we do as school board members. Thank you all for being here. And I just wanna wish you all the best in the future and that God would richly bless each one of you. Thank you. See, I told you it would come back. <laughs> Honor Guard, please take your places. 
The awarding of diplomas is a testimony and witness of the academic achievements with all the honors, rights, and privileges accorded to the high school diploma. Diplomas will be presented by members of the Board of Education, counselors Ms. Amy Malloy, Mr. Carter Vogt, and Ms. Alyssa Randall. We ask for your assistance this evening by holding your applause and cheers until the end so everyone can hear each graduate's name to be read. At this time, would the first row of graduates please rise? Ms. Brenda Carlson will begin diploma presentation with Ms. Amy Malloy reading of graduate names. Ray Ellen Eileen. Ava June Aldean, honors. Isaac John Aldrich. Jacob Gregory Alm. Ashlyn Amelia Anderson, honors. Devin Jeremy Anderson. Dylan Allen Anderson, highest honors. Emily Marie Anderson. Josie Lee Anderson. William Matthew Anderson. Gracie Morgan Barger, honors. Faith Elizabeth Badalini, highest honors. <laughs> Teresa Catherine Bouch. Broden Douglas Becker. Brandon Charles Benson. Allison Rose Bergerson, highest honors. Eric James Bergerson. Jessica Ann Bergerson, honors. Cody William Berglund. Nicholas Bertomeo Cotini. Levi Douglas Bierman. Joseph Anthony Bigot. Sarah Jean Bielen, honors. Eric Richard Bjork. Logan Riley Bjorkman, highest honors. Emily Marie Blevins. Jaden Marie Blummer. Jonathan Derek Bodell. Avery Jean Boudreau. Bryn Michelle Boudreau. Deborah Grace Boyle. Samantha Irene Boyle, highest honors. Holly Genevieve Breno, honors. Cole Thompson Brophy. Ashley Ann Bierman, highest honors. Bryce Walter Birds, honors. Zachary Allen Carlson. Michaela Marie Carter. Nathan James Cottle. Now presenting diplomas, Mr. Mark Lee. Sophia Marie Charles. Renee Faye Christensen. Abigail Ann Darlene Claren. 
Anna Ruth Claren, highest honors. Lindsay Ann Klassen. Cameron Jean Klontz. Anthony Martin Colburn. Kevin Michael Connery. Lindsay Lee Craig, highest honors. Luther Douglas Crum, highest honors. Skylar Nazareth Curtis. Sage Amron Dabney, honors. Luke Marcus Danielowski. Jared Thomas Davison. James Colton Deginger. Ravette Ann Denial. Victoria Rose Dietz, highest honors. Hope Marietta Dorcas, honors. Jacob Thomas Duncan Connell. David Sean Dunn. Cole Allen Eisfelder, highest honors. Drew Michael Ellering, highest honors. Blake Austin Ellingson. Jaron Richard Erickson. Nolan John Erickson. Zachary Wesley Erickson, highest honors. Justin Willard Ewart. Jacob Timothy Fish. Samantha Paige Frankson. Brooke Kristen Fricky. Reese Alexander Friedner. Sylvia Mabel Fugi, highest honors. Abigail Nicole Gangle, highest honors. Claire Marie Ferguson. Emma Marie Jarvis. Jane Galach. Highest honors. <laughs> Logan Allen Gillespie. Evan Stanley Ginter. Madeline Ray Gayasi. Now presenting diplomas, Mrs. Danny Strenke. Savannah Lee Gorski. Ethan Ryan Grams, honors. Jessica Lee Green. Colton Gerald Getter, honors. Now reading names, Mr. Carter Vogt.
Drew James Hansen. Hunter Daniel Hansen. Samuel George Hansen. Savannah Joe Harrington. Bryn Elizabeth Haskin. Trevor Miles Halgo. Parker Stephen House. Samuel Gunner Helen. Erica Don Henslick. Molly Maxine Hill, highest honors. Cody Adam Politon. Dakota Jeremy Politon. Emily Johanna Horn, honors. Gabriel Lawrence Houston. Madison Suzanne Immel. Caitlin May Istanovich. Carly Sue Janger. Mariah Margaret Jensen, highest honors. Alice Marie Johnson, highest honors. Cody Allen Johnson. Ethan Joseph Johnson. Evan Christopher Johnson, honors. Hallie Catherine Johnson, highest honors. Zachary Paul Johnson. Trinity Alexis Junker, honors. Delton Laredo Colley. Anthony Michael Kaminsky. Donald Logan Capon. Shane Richard Cargill, highest honors. Elizabeth Marie Keefe, highest honors. Daniel James Clinky. Madeline Marie Clune. Lindsay Marie Colhays, highest honors. Maxwell Miles Prinky. Now presenting diplomas, Mr. Jerry Vitalis. Dalton David Coonley. Xander Melvin Juberian Lockmiller. Richie Alexander Lang. Jacob Timothy Larson. Grace Ellen Lasuda. Joel Carter Lasky. Reese Thomas Lawler. Justin David Lowry. Selena Andrea Lee. Nathan Keith Lepinen. Megan Carolyn Lurfold. Kelly Kathleen Laterno. Kadrian Louise Lorenz. Bailey Landon Loso. Jade Diane Marie Lundin. 
Carl Lee Lutz. Grace Margaret Maloney. Elijah Jared Marshall. Maxwell Lee Martin. Adam Stephen Martin K. Wyatt John Maxwell, honors. Tyler James McKenzie. Bronson William McLean. Dawson Crosby Morrison, honors. Aaron Nancy Myron, honors. Carrie Diane Myron, highest honors. Alexander Peter Nasdaq. Jessica Elizabeth Nelson, highest honors. Julia Grace Nelson. Timothy Carl Nelson, honors. Tyler Max Nelson. William Patrick Nelson, highest honors. Kevin Scott Nephew. Mackenzie Eileen Newton. Harley Ray Nickel. Jackson George Novak. Now reading names, Miss Alyssa Randall. Emma Jane O'Connell. Bailey Evan Olson. Sarah Grace Olson, highest honors. Dawson Charles Overgaard. Now presenting diplomas, Mrs. Lori Bird. David Overgaard. Lewis Ray Palmquist. Haley Joe Pangburn. Tyler Jerry Parkos. Alexander David Paulson, highest honors. Shayla Don Pearson. Shelby Lynn Pelletier. Carissa Jean Peterson. Yeah. Kennedy Alexis Phillips, highest yeah. honors. Shane James Pliscott. Yeah. Benjamin Leroy Polfus. Samuel David Polis, honors. Yeah. Megan Elizabeth Racine. Jacob Glenn Rafferty. Amelia Josephine Randall, highest wow. honors. Lydia Rose Rader, highest honors. Samantha Joan Ritchie, honors. Yeah. Madeline Bell Ritter. Victoria Lynn Roiger. Manny Mauricio Rosario. Yeah. Marina Renee Roth, honors. Samantha Jean Ryther. 
Ashley Marie Salakar, highest honors. Callie Jo Schlegel, honors. Shayla K. Schmitz. Rachel Jacqueline Shoniker, highest honors. Adrian Rose Sells Scholl. Nicholas Peter Schultz, honors. Emily Jean Seaton. Tanner Jonathan Seacrest. Faith Lee Sadal. Natalie Eileen Silver. Isaiah David Sistrunk. Jacob Paul Scordal. Amelia Frances Smith, honors. Gavin J. Smith. Desiree Elizabeth Spicer, highest honors. Anna Magdalene Spreck, highest honors. And now presenting diplomas, Ms. Melissa Donovan. Gavin Marshall Spreck. Brooks Vladimir Stengel. Olivia Madison Stevermer, highest honors. Bo Andrew Stiller. Tate Thomas Swanson. Dylan Anthony Tajan. Faye Marie Tempty. Jack Michael Tangy. Seth Anders Thompson. Jackson Windsor Tim, highest honors. Sophie August Tim, highest honors. William Lee Tinjum. Taylor Nicole Tolzman, highest honors. Tyler James Cheetah. Nicole Marie Unruh, highest honors. Zachary Lewis Urich. Grace Elizabeth Bolin. Jacob John Bangsed. Dustin Rain Vodenka Reed. Morgan Mary Von Felt, highest honors. Lindsay May Terrell. Casey Elizabeth Wachholz, honors. Alexander David Walden, honors. Lauren Dorothy Wald. Taylor Mary Waldo, honors. Devin Taiwan Darjan Walker. Jackson Adam Waltman, highest honors. 
Caleb Robert Warnke. Brady Michael Wenen. Joshua Samuel Wenthe. Jacob Richard Werner. Caleb Ryan Whaley. Braden Mitchell Wilkinson. Aaliyah Dale Williams. Lydia May Wissink, honors. Samuel Joseph Watucky, honors. Ashlyn Ray Welke. Josephine Marie Wubbin. Amanda Jo Young. Brianna Lillian Ziesmer. Amber Rose Zins, highest honors. Greg Mark Zittleman. so make sure that you go get one, okay? As we conclude our program, please remain in your seats until all the graduates have exited. Thank you and drive home safely.